I'm going to show you how to use our large teddy mould. There is also a small teddy to match this. Now first of all I'm going to put some corn flour into the mould, tap out so there's not too much, that will stop the paste sticking. This is our sugar paste and I've coloured it with a little bit of dark brown to get the colour for the bear. So make it nice and smooth, because of the long shape I've just made a smooth sausage shape to put into the mould. So I'm starting to press in very firmly, so pinch and push into the ears and then press the paste in. Now I have weighed this so I know I've got the right size before I put it into the mould. On the instruction sheet it gives you the weight of the paste to put in. If you have got too much, that, that's okay, but if you had too much, you would just push it down to the end like this and take it off with your thumb, okay? So that's ready to come out now. It's always really important to know that you've pressed really hard behind the nose because that's the deepest part of the mould. So you can see, you just pull the edges back, turn it over and it will fall out very easily. Now I'll show you how to colour it. So we want some pink powder on a dusting brush. Make sure there's not too much powder on that. So make sure you haven't got too much colour on your brush and then brush into the ears, the cheeks. You can either do the, the cheeks here on the snout or on the face but I'm going to snip the fur on the bear so I'm putting the pink powder on the sides of the snout and then into the paws on both sides, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to paint his eyes and his nose. So I've just got some black powder, some alcohol. You don't have to use the alcohol but it paints really well and it dries very quickly. So I've just got a small brush to paint the nose. You can use water, but you, you know you have to wait for it to dry before adding your next colour. If you, you know, I'm going to paint a white dot into the eye as well. So you would have to make sure that black was very dry. Okay, and then a very thin brush. And this time you could use a little bit of water or the alcohol. Just be careful with the alcohol because it will dry very quickly on your brush. Okay, so very, very thin brush and just flick out two little eyelashes on the same that side. Okay, and then a little bit of white powder to finish off the eye. A little dot of white really brings it to life. There we are. So the teddy is fine as it is, but it does look quite nice if you snip it with scissors to give him a really fluffy, furry effect. These are tweezer scissors and they're very easy to use. If you haven't got these, you can use manicure scissors, curved manicure scissors. But these are available on our website if you would like some. So as I snip, I'm being very, very careful not to touch the eye or the nose. Because now the alcohol's dry, that's just powder sat on top of the sugar paste. And I'm snipping the fur carefully in the direction that it would, it would fall naturally. And then round the ears. And carry on the other side of the body and right down. it's nice to give him a little bow at his neck so I've just got some coloured paste I'm using our bow mould I've just put a sausage of paste across the top of the bow 
and then usually when you flatten it you get enough to put down into the tails okay so that's ready to come out just turn it over bend and just attach to the neck with a little glue I'm going to show you now how to turn the teddy bear into a nice decoration for Christmas. I'll just attach him to this board, pop him on there. So I'm going to give him a hat, a nice Christmassy hat. So this is our knitted piece mould. I've just put some cornflour into the mould, tapped it out so there's not too much. And then I've got some of our sugar paste. I'll just start to roll that out a little bit, pop it onto the mould, make sure it's not sticky on the back and then use your rolling pin to roll it nice and thin into the mould. Now with this one I don't need the whole piece, it does tend to, because they come out so easily, the paste comes out of the mould so easily, it does tend to move about when you roll it in. So I just finish it off with a good press with my fingers before I turn it out onto the table. So you see there how easy it falls out and you've got that lovely embossed knitting pattern there to make the hat for the bear. So if I take a cutting wheel and just cut a straight line, I can see that's plenty, plenty big enough. I'm just going to cut out a hat shape. But I'm going to do it so it would be bent bent round. I think this is still too big but it just gives you an idea. If you lift it over to the bear you can see how much you need to cut to make it fit. Okay because I want to bend the top over anyway so I'm just going to turn that over and just brush a little bit of glue thinly along those edges and then turn over so you don't see the cut edge when it's on the bear. I'm just going to brush him with some glue here and pop the hat on and then you can just bend it to fit like that. Okay now I'm going to add a bobble to the end of the hat and a fur trim along here. push that in a little bit there so take some white sugar paste and just roll the little ball flatten slightly pop it on the end there and then a sausage of paste to place across the hat so I'm just checking the size Put that on and just press it down slightly with your fingers okay now I'm going to put some fur onto the bobble and the trim so if I brush that thinly with glue for a nice fur effect if you use a sieve and your sugar paste just make sure it's nice and soft, put it into the sieve and then press very firmly with your fingers till the paste starts to push through. Then take a knife and just cut across to remove the paste. Take it over to the bear and then with a cocktail stick you can slide that off. When the knife cuts it off the sieve, it pushes the paste together and usually holds itself quite well. Then another piece, you just keep doing this till you have enough to cover the trim and the bobble. So joining it up, I'll just turn that a little this way. When you attach the next piece, you can then use your cocktail stick to push the fur together like that and continue until you cover the whole piece 
And then this cake here, I finished with the scarves and the hat. Um, and I've done the, the bears are done in white, so they look like polar bears as well. Right, now we've got another way of using this teddy, teddy mould. I'm going to do the teddy dressed as, a, as Santa. So we'll tap out the corn flour. I've got some red sugar paste, some of my red sugar paste. I'm just going to press it in. Now we only need to mould the lower half of the bear. We don't need his head in red, obviously. So I just press, press that in as, as normal and stop at the neck. Okay, so that's ready to come out. Just turn it over and press. And now just cut off the red at the top there. Okay, so we've got a red Teddy's body. Now the next thing to do is cut off his feet because we'll replace them with black boots. So if we take away one foot and the other foot just work your way round take it off gradually rather than slicing it off completely and just pick that up and trim that piece off as well okay so i've already molded the head and snipped it exactly as before and colored so I'm going to attach the body below and pop that on there. So I just need to brush some of the corn flour off the red. Okay, now we'll give him a red hat. So if I just need to gather these trimmings Roll a smooth ball and then point it into a teardrop shape, flatten slightly and start to pinch the edges out to get your hat shape and the top will bend over so that looks about right. I'm going to put some glue just up here and attach the hat and now I can push it and shape it, bend that over and just mark where the hat bends. Okay, so now we'll take some white paste. And I'll just put some glue over his feet. And just here, on the ends of his arms, across his hat, and for the bobble. So a small ball for the bubble. A sausage of paste across the hat. And then over each foot, if you just if you just roll a ball of paste for each foot. Check they're the same size first before you go any further. Yes, roll them nice and smooth, then flatten out into an oval shape and attach over where you've cut off his paws. The same with that one. I'll put the trim actually round his hands in a second. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue each end there as well. And then just quickly shape two little paws that have got black mittens on. So I'm just making a flattened teardrop shape. And then just take some scissors and cut out a little triangle. For a thumb, so you shape the thumb, and then that would go at the end of that sleeve, and this one the other side, pop that there, and then attach. 
attach a sausage of paste across the end of each sleeve. Now he does look better if you put a little black belt across his middle. So if I just roll out a piece of paste. Well, that's difficult to see there against the black, but I'm just going to cut a strip of paste that will fit around his waist. Before I put the glue on, I'm just going to check the size of that. That lucky guess that was right. So little bit of glue across there, put the belt on and then finally there you can give him some buttons in black or white, I think black would probably look better. And then his boots, so all you want for his boots is two pieces of black paste, roll a ball for each one, a little bit of glue onto each side, shape an oval, pop that on in place and then just mark his feet with a knife, mark the heel on each boot across like that okay and then if you want to you could put some edible glitter onto the white on his suit so just brush the white thinly with glue this is glue made with tylo powder And put, brush the glue on very, very thinly. You just want the surface to be sticky, not wet. These are magic sparkles that I've ground finer in a pestle and mortar. I'm just going to sprinkle them over the glued areas. They are safe to eat. They're made from modified cornstarch. Okay, and tap off the excess. I'm going to take a little air blower and just use that to blow away the excess sparkles off the figure. There's lots of different uses for this teddy bear mould, as you've seen with the Christmas, the Christmas figures, or you can dress the teddies. In this one I've used the Lottie lace to make a little dress for the teddy bear for a little girl's birthday cake or christening. And the, these teddy figures match the teddy head border, which I've done here with uh, little bows added to their heads and little, little flowers. Or again, you can decorate these for Christmas using Christmas hats and reindeer antlers.